Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Mi 11X. Now I know in the last two days there have been a lot of Mi 11X videos, but understand this first got the official Lineage OS 18.1 update and then we got Oxygen OS and now we have Android 12 Beta 4.1 ported to this device. So it's really, really exciting. I've just installed this. So this in all sense is going to be a true first impressions video. I am planning to use it for 24 hours so that I can give you guys a review as to you can use it for a daily driver or not but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash Let's get going. All right, so pretty exciting stuff for Mi 11X owners, Poco F3 owners and Redmi K40 owners. We do have Android 12 Beta 4.1 ported to this wonderful device. All thanks to team Pyretex. They have been doing a splendid job, right? And if we go to about phone, we go to the Android version over here. You will notice the Android version is Android 12. You do see you have your Android 12 Easter egg over here. There you go. Looks beautiful as always. August security patch and the kernel over here is the disrupt kernel, right? Now, there is something that I'd like to share over here. Now, when Google released beta 4.1. They did mention that this is RC or this is very close to release and we've fixed most of the bugs and stuff like that. But to put it into perspective, the moment I booted this particular ROM or this particular port, it felt really, really smooth, like way smoother than it was earlier. You might not notice if you're using it for the first time, but if you've used the previous betas, they were already smooth. This is on a different level altogether. Now there won't be a dedicated install video for this particular ROM. Reason being, the install video that you see for Oxygen OS that I released today, the steps are exactly the same. Even on this, you need to have an unlocked bootloader. You need to have all your data backed up. You need to have more than 50% battery. You need to have TWRP installed and then you need to flash Xiaomi.eu stable. After which you need to go to fast boot and you need to flash using the computer. Everything is shown in the Oxygen OS video. It is just that the ROM file is different. Rest, everything else is absolutely the same. So no dedicated install guide for this particular ROM. But nonetheless, that should not stop us from exploring what is new or how better this is. Now, I'll tell you this. If you go to the lock screen over here, right? This always on display looks beautiful to me, right? And the moment you go ahead and try to unlock it, there you go. This animation just have a, I mean, it, it was there earlier, but look at it, how subtle it is. You won't, you know, get the feel that this is a port or this is not a native ROM or something that is not designed for this particular device. And of course it is running variable refresh rate. I did enable the refresh rate and check. Let's go ahead and do that once again. So let's go to developer options and let's look for show refresh rate now you see 120 60 there you go most of the time it is on 120 let's maybe go to chrome let's see here we're gonna do a ufo test real quick so let's go to ufo test there you go it is running at 120 FPS, so no problems with the refresh rate over there. You do have high refresh rate enabled, right? But you know, the moment you boot onto this ROM to the left, of course, you have Google feed. Now, once again, I would like to address the elephant in the room. A few days back, somebody said that it happens on Pixel devices as well. Just have a look at this. Just have a look at this. I mean, I am refreshing the feed and at the same time I'm swiping from left to right. There was a very slight micro stutter, nothing that 
you know compares with the stutters that you see on miui just a reference comparison there but the moment you come on the home screen and press and hold over here you have wallpaper and style and you have this brand new customization menu you do have themed icons as well and it is still in beta because it doesn't theme all the icons as you can see over here it themes the icons on the home screen but not in the app drawer and that is the reason google is calling it beta right if you go ahead and change the wallpaper to something that is a little different you will see material u or the monet ui doing its magic and the whole accent color of the system changing and looks beautiful i'm i'm really surprised with the amount of roms the type of the quality of roms this device the mi 11x is getting i used oxygen os for this entire day and i was going to review it but then this came up and trust me oxygen os is smooth at another level i really thought nothing could be more smoother trust me this is if not more equally smooth to oxygen os and it runs like a boss now not to give all praise and not to you know give you the wrong or misinformation that it has no bugs because this is beta 4.1 it works absolutely fine i'm not saying that now as i said i flashed this like 10 minutes back i've not ran any benchmarks so let's quickly go ahead and explore all the features now you did notice that there were a there was a very slight stutter but uh, i you know I really think this looks very, very beautiful and works really, really well, especially because now if you have a look, this comes pre-installed with Google Camera Go. At least it takes care of your basic camera application needs. You know, you might not have all the advanced clarity that you get in MIUI or MIUI based ROMs, but the Google Camera Go application is there. You do have your dialer, you do have your messages, all the basic applications are available and over here this monet ui these quick tiles look really really beautiful you have device controls and all the other options that i've shown in the previous videos like you know you can go ahead and enable disable dark theme mic access camera access location access all of that is there and working as expected now the good thing over here is after installing you do get your usual set of errors and warnings that this is a beta program and stuff like that but i've not seen anything breaking away i've made a couple of calls the calls are working fine the internet for me is working fine the camera for me is working fine you do see i'm connected to a 5 gigahertz wi-fi network so let's quickly have a look at the settings menu of android 12 beta 4.1 before we actually decide how good or bad this is so you do have your standard UI of Android 12 over here. Let's go to network and internet. Under internet, you do have some changes over here. Turn on Wi-Fi automatically. Wi-Fi will turn back on near high quality saved networks like your home network, that is good. Notify for public network, something we've seen in the past. If you select a network that you're connected to, you can go ahead and disconnect and reconnect, right? It shows the single signal strength, the frequency, security type, randomized mac address auto connect you can add a device using a qr code right as you can see all the information is there non-operator data usage so you know those options are working just as expected wi-fi calling is working just as expected hotspot and tethering like let's go ahead and use wi-fi hotspot for that matter there you go it is enabled along with Wi-Fi. Earlier, I think we were able to see this only in MIUI ROMs or MIUI devices, but now you do see that your Wi-Fi is enabled and hotspot is enabled as well. So that is now natively available in Android 12. Moving on, you have apps, right? Connected devices. So what I'm gonna do is, as I said, I installed this ROM five minutes back. So I'm quickly going to pair my earbuds over here these are noise shots exo there you go i just want to make sure if you are having any issues with bluetooth or not because in the previous ports i have had issues with bluetooth connectivity all right so you know we are testing bluetooth over here i've connected my shots exo earphones bluetooth ones because usually i do have issues when it comes to the bluetooth playback of audio and stuff so let's go ahead and play a ncs video maybe and let me just there you go yeah i don't know why we keep having bluetooth issues it's connecting again okay no 
right so even in this build for some reason we continue to have a bluetooth issues a little disappointing there because then that doesn't allow me to use this as my daily driver hopefully there will be a bluetooth fix very very soon right now moving on let's continue with the settings part over here so in connected devices you do have issues with bluetooth devices and in apps you have your usual stuff over here screen time assistant menu that is there in the previous android builds as well and if you go to battery you do have your adaptive preferences adaptive battery and stuff like that and you can enable the battery percentage and it does show your estimate as well i have tested the charging it works fine it might not give you the complete 33 watts but under sound and vibration you do have live caption adaptive sound now playing now they have not mentioned anything about you know identifying songs nearby or the live uh, now playing feature but i would recommend don't use it because you might have issues with the rom otherwise and under display you do have your usual stuff adaptive brightness your lock screen settings over here always on display and stuff like that smooth display is basically your 120 hertz or 90 hertz of screen refresh rate and under security you have all sorts of options over here as you can see permission manager so this is where you know in the privacy section and under security they've you know paid a lot of attention to the privacy so that is something really really neat as far as the fingerprint scanner is concerned it works really really well i've not had any major issues at all right so all in all you know if you go ahead and ask me how good is this beta 4.1 i think it's smoother it has all the google side bugs fixed because of course this is a port from a gsi so what do you expect bluetooth appears to be still broken but you you have you know less inconsistency compared to the previous uh, ports that were given to this particular device all in all it's a great experience if you don't use bluetooth a lot for audio and stuff you can definitely go ahead and give it a try the link is mentioned in the description let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular port until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye